All right, so here we are at a fan house today. We'll show you around it. This fan house is pretty unique because it combines the old with new. You can see the old fan house foundation that they left, and then later they ended up building a new fan, new smaller fan house here. Old fans were very large because the technology wasn't that modern then. Back in the day, it was common to have a 50 or 60 foot diameter fan for one colliery. Then later, throughout the time, they became much smaller, more efficient with electric motors compared to steam engines. So inside, this is the new portion of the fan house that's all made of steel. And one thing you can see that's common with fan houses is an airlock door. Usually there would be either two doors or one door with a rubber seal to keep the compression. Now inside the fan house here, the new fan house, this is where the actual fan stood. This fan pushed air into the mine rather than pulling air out of the mine. And this would have been your vent here. And over here you can see where the shaft was, right next to the fan. This shaft goes down approximately 100 feet, and then at the bottom, pitches to the right at about a 60 degree angle where the coal vein is. Now in front of us here, you can see outside as well, the cinder block wall that they built there when they abandoned the old fan house to keep the circulation in here. And also you can see the ladder in the corner. In all shafts they would put a ladder as some type of alternate escape way if there was anything to happen underground. So we'll take a walk around the other side and show you the old portion of the fan house. Okay, now here's the old portion of the fan house. You can see this large half moon shape centerpiece here is where the fan was located. You can see this is a good 40 to 45 feet across. That is how large the fan was. And then you have two channels on either side. That's for people to maintain the fan if need be. And that is where the air was directed into the shaft. Right there you can see the opposite side of the cinder block wall. And then on the opposite side of us you can see where the steam engine would have been to drive this fan. All right, here's another good view of where the fan would sit with the half moon shape. The shafts would be mounted right in the middle there where you can see those anchor bolts and there would naturally be a large building around us. This gives you an idea of just how big the single fan was.